What's going on guys, it's Cobra Studio 34 here bringing you the next layout update. Um, today, oh man, it's early August 2014. Um, I have not put a CMMRA running session video on or made one today because um, I've been gone all day. We had a, we had a function thing today. Um, so I would that I was at all day today, which I wasn't able to um, upload anything or do anything really. So um, we just got home not too long ago, and I decided to make a video. So um, the first order of business is uh, what you see in front of you: a uh, Santa Fe 484 Northern, number 3754. Uh, it's Broadway Limited Imports, is I believe second rendition of this locomotive sound smoke as you can faintly see coming out of the smokestack I believe this is the the smokestack is the pilot sw the switching pilot I think that's what the uh, photo said on the internet and um, it comes with two this this one right here the short one uh, came in came on the locomotive in the box and I think this is the road pilot um, smokestack. Um, I'll be doing a in-depth review probably later on this evening maybe. I might get that up maybe sometime next weekend because uh, school starts next week and um, these first few weeks are going to be very hectic with uh, school work, uh, my athletics and all that kind of good stuff so that's um, going to really halt some train stuff and uh, that's that. So let's move the 3754 out to um, to the next order of business. And here it is: Illinois Central Golf 40 foot flat car. I think it's the Walters Train Line version, the same as uh, my Atlanta Coast Line, Louisville Nashville. Illinois Central uh, box cars that I got not too long ago that I've showed y'all. Um, on it, it's got four created lifelike by Walters crate palleted crate things. You know, you know what I mean. Um, with the forklift I got for Christmas, and uh, what's dangling over that flat car is the next order of business. The Union Pacific um, breakdown crane. That's always that's what I've always called them. It's uh, Walter's Proto, I believe. It's the top of the line stuff. Don't know whether or not I showed you this. It's a uh, it's the unpowered version. They do make a powered version and a conversion kit to make it powered. I am not going to make mine powered. On the bottom of the trucks, it's got little gears in order to. Uh, grip the track I believe because whenever I would run it around the layout on the end of the train it would make these little grinding noises as it would go over the switches I'm probably going to get my Dremel out and uh, grind that down or just go get some buy some metal wheels I think that'd be easier to put in that and uh, it's it's a very nice model proto cost me about forty bucks worth forty dollars I believe it's got Working crane arm, hook, and all that good stuff. You can turn it. I'm not going to really do it because it's kind of stiff. And I re really don't want to mess it up. Next order of business. An Atlas HO scale. I believe it's Train Man line. Norfolk and Western PS2 covered hopper car. They had one at the uh, CMMRA where, I, you know, if you follow me, you can watch my videos of that. Um, they got one of these up there. I wanted, thought they were pretty cool. I've always thought those, they looked really cool with the little hatches on top and the two, uh, drop ends, I believe that's what you call them, on the bottom. And, and I never had any Norfolk and Western rolling stock, so decided to pick that up. Around $20. It was relatively cheap, but I thought, and, uh, I'm really satisfied with it. It's got a nice weight to it and just looks great running around on the layout. 
Next car. Illinois Central 50 foot box car, I believe. Waffle sided box car, if you can't really tell because they call it the waffle because it looks like a waffle on the side. It's a plug door box car. Can't open the door. I've tried. I don't want to break it either. So Walther's main line. Cost me about mm, $30 maybe. Bought it at uh, Hobby Town. Same when I bought the uh, No Fucking Western. E, uh, it's the Illinois Central. It's the uh, later scheme, I believe, like the 80s, 90s scheme where they quit the orange and orange, black, and white. And uh, when they were starting to sell in the Canadian National or the Canadian National takeover of the South, not saying that in a bad way, just I'm just. The Canadian National starts running around here, around where I live in Mississippi, central Mississippi here. Um, so that cost me about $30, $35. And uh, behind it is the final piece of this layout update. Um, an Illinois Central uh, air slide hopper. If uh, you do or do not follow Metra, if... 40 PH, I think that's his name. He uh, bought a couple of these, and I thought, uh, hey, that looks pretty cool. But it was only after I had bought it, and I thought, I never saw one before, and I'm like, I've got to have this. It's Illinois Central. I don't care if it's the later scheme. It just looks really, really cool. So I bought it. It's about $39, $40. About as much as a Proto, Walter's Proto. It's also Walter's Main Line. It's got a really good weight to it. So that's why it's behind the uh, 44 Northern because it, man, this thing can haul some cars. I'll tell you what, I got about every single car that I usually run around my layout behind it uh, this evening. Um, so that's all everything that uh, I done. <coughs> One big thing I forgot to notice, tell you all, Notice the, uh, besides all the junk land, engines and cars and tools and such laying around on my table, you notice it's a little, looking a little blue in here. Not, nobody's depressed or anything, but, um, styrofoam, uh, three quarter inch insulating foam that, you know, put in your house. Okay, so, sorry for that interruption, but uh, me and my dad got that down. We got the measurements in. It was about quarter of an inch short on the width, I mean length, and a, and a perfect uh, four foot inside. Didn't need to cut any uh, of the width. Had to cut off a good bit. They come in as a regular plywood shipped by rail or truck. It's four by eight, so I had to slop off two feet basically that's sitting out in my garage waiting for me to figure out something to do with it and um and disregard the glasses there that's before I had to get some new contacts make them stronger where I could see better um whether or not I showed you these KD number 158's 430 $4.30 cents, two pairs I really like them Put one of them on the uh, Norfolk and uh, Norfolk and Southern Norfolk Southern. Um, I think Jeep 48-2 Jeep 50. I believe it was a uh, what do they call them? Mathern ready to roll or something like that. You know what I mean? Oh, I gotta set that down in my little workplace. Um, Seven thousand. I showed that in a really early update. It um was standard DC power for a long time. Um, that's how I met the guys at the CMMRA. Was, uh, I was wanting to put the decoder in it because it said DCC quick plug, like a lot of those engines you can get to like do that and put sound in it as well. I'm not planning to put sound in it. But um, yeah, that's how I got introduced to them. That's why I've been making a lot of CMMRA running videos because I... Um, and then in my six-month probation to be able to join the club. And um, I haven't taken it up there, but that's the first thing. That's how I got introduced to those guys up there, and they're really cool. 
helped me a lot, let me and my little brother run trains up there. That's why you have these really long videos, because me and him both love running long trains. And uh, this, that bad boy up over there is going to be going with us next time, whenever that might be, which might be this upcoming weekend, not this weekend, but next, to uh, get that, because it's got smoke, it's got sound, great sound. Um, they come with the uh, Broadway Limited Imports smoke fluid, unscented. Does still have kind of a burning oil smell, which would make kind of sense because it's an oil firing tender. And um, probably want to find me some better smelling smoke, you know, like hickory wood or oak wood or something, whatever they got. And uh, that's about it. Uh, besides those two switches over there, I'm taking out that double crossover soon, putting in a left handed switch. Hopefully we'll have one of these kind of uh, control panel type things to come off, to come off that inner main line, have those two right-handed switches in, and have my glacier, can't speak today, Walther's Cornerstone Glacier Gravel Company sitting right there on that leftmost portion of the layout. That'll be my main industry. Um, so that's basically all there is for this update. Um, I might do a run by video of the 484 Northern soon, just about two, uh, three or four minute video because there's, you know, not any scenery up here. I still got a bunch of trains sitting all over here, so I got to get that fixed where I can start doing, uh, sheetrock mud for my road crossings on both ends of the layout, start getting buildings and for my town and vehicles and stuff. So that's basically it for this uh, layout update. I'm Cobra Studio 34, and I'll see you next time.